Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are looking at the next patch. This will actually be dropping tonight, I believe. We just got it a few minutes ago. Uh, so I believe this will be introducing the tournament mode for visitors from another world side story and a few other things. It's quite long. I skimmed through it, but not really in depth. So we're going to do that now. So week two, we can see Biken's chapter of the side story. I like that they added this little screen here so you can kind of warp to her section instead of just running there manually uh, like it has been with all the other side stories. So that's pretty cool. We can see on week three, we'll be getting Dizzy's story alongside most likely her banner as well. That's really exciting. Looking forward to doing that. So the currency we're going to be collecting in Biken's story, the one that's dropping tonight, will be different from usual. They'll actually be tokens that you need to enter the tournament that's also dropping uh, at the same time. As usual, and for the entire duration of the side story, all Guilty Gear collaboration heroes will have this 50% increase. So the currency we're going to be able to acquire, Token of the Chosen, this is the one you need to enter the tournament, which I kind of just said, so okay, let's continue. So you can see the tournament button down here uh, before you actually go into the side story map. So that's pretty cool. Also, here's the tournament. It's actually going to be against NPCs. Uh, I thought it would be against other players. So I'm actually really happy it's against NPCs. That's a lot less, a uh, lot less stressful. Here, I guess uh, you can see the roster here. This is the normal mode, I would assume, because the final dude is only level 40. Um, there's a hard mode as well, and it'll get harder and harder as you go through them. So, oh, here's a bigger. Hot, more high res picture here. So each battle will require these tokens, requiring more and more the further you go, and I assume even more and more on hard mode. So uh, looking forward to jumping into that. Might uh, might make a little video on that too, because that's pretty cool. It's uh, it, it, it's unique. We haven't really had something like this before yet. And here's the battle stage, also quite unique. Also, if you lose. You won't lose any currency, so I guess you can just try again, which is really nice. Okay, and we can only do normal mode during week two. We can start doing hard mode in week four. Also, this isn't really farmable, I think. The rewards you can only get one time, so that's good to know. And that's pretty much it for week two of Side Story. Main thing, I guess, is tournament. Uh, we won't be able to get any other like things from the shop with those currencies because they are just entries to the tournament. Uh, but we also have a new challenge, Brawl Revelator, where we can get a new artifact. I read it. It looks actually really, really good. The three typical difficulties, normal, hard, and hell. Most people are pretty familiar with how challenges work. There's a chance to drop the artifact. The most important thing is which artifact, and if there's some strategy to beating Biken and Soul here, uh, which I guess we could get into later. We can try it when it drops tomorrow. Uh, it'll be tomorrow for me, different time zones and all that, you know. But yeah, as usual, 20% on hell, 7% to drop on hard, 3% to drop on normal. You will, I believe, get one guaranteed always just from doing it 10 times on any difficulty. But here's the artifact. It's a little bit uh, blurry, but as you can see at max, increases damage dealt by 20% if the enemy's health is more than 50%. That's quite good. And from what I can tell, at least right now, there is no class restriction. I don't see a class restriction anywhere, but uh, it could be that there's one. Sometimes the description changes somewhat when it's actually in the game. I know that happened to one of the other challenge artifacts. But yeah, I can imagine that would be very good for kind of one-shot heroes, uh, especially in something like PvP, where a lot of heroes can in fact one-shot, and this would make them safer to try and do so. And uh, I just think it's a really good general artifact. Maybe not for harder PvE stuff where you're going to need a lot of turns and you're going to spend, you know, half of a lot of those turns with the boss under 50%. So, I mean, of course, there are a lot of good artifacts. So this is kind of plain, I would say. You can't get like any extra turns or do anything special with the artifact, but just straight 20% more damage, potentially, you know, that could definitely... Definitely do, do some stuff as your, if your main goal is to just one shot with your turn. And yeah, as you can see down here, we have some reputation rewards. You should obviously try and clear hell for that golden transmission stone. And then I would personally, even if you're not super interested in the artifact, I would at least do it 10 times just to grab it. But then again, it doesn't sound super worth it unless you're going to max it. Because 10% isn't very much, but then 20% is quite significant. 
10% is significant, but I don't know if it's worth an artifact spot. Besides that, we have other improvements and bug fixes. Uh, it says, following the addition of new heroes and side stories, the relationship for the following heroes has been adjusted. Then we have a long list of heroes here. So I guess they're just going to get like new things in their little like tree thing. I'm not really looking at that too much, so I'm not really sure what that means. Probably like since we have new heroes, and a lot of these heroes are part of the side story. There's gonna be like new branches and whatever. There was also one of the other Guilty Gear heroes uh, in these. I would have to pull up the conversation I had with one of my friends earlier. Eno, I think she's called. She has a, a grudge relationship with Soul, and he was thinking maybe she would be the challenge hero, so one we can get in this challenge, but it looks to be just an artifact. You might get a challenge later for her. But uh, for now, yeah. Also, I read about this uh, bike and skill thing the other day. Uh, so, but of course, never put it into any video or anything. But it's good to know that one of her bleeds on her second skill uh, was always guaranteed to land, ignoring effect resistance. Well, not guaranteed because it's a maximum of 80% chance, but it would ignore effect resistance. And that, I guess, was a bug, but they decided to just leave it in there and they're going to just change the actual skill description uh, to say one bleed effect ignores effect resistance. So as long as you succeed in that 80% roll, then at least one bleed, even if they have 7,000 million effect resistance. Besides that, it seems Arius wasn't being applied to revived allies. That's been fixed. Not like that applies to too many people, because uh, I don't think that there are that many revivers besides uh, Moonlight... Rula, whatever the hell she's called. Oh yeah, and this was one thing I noticed actually yesterday while I was transmitting all my two-star penguins. Uh, it would say a certain amount and I would get more. And and I would just thought that has something to do with the 10% bonus or 20% bonus gold I had going on through the guild bonuses. And I was like, well, whatever. I just didn't think about it. <laughs> but uh, okay, that was apparently a problem. I don't know if they're going to actually make it as high as we were getting or if they're going to reduce it to what it shows now before the patch but uh we'll see <laughs> this one's pretty funny apparently crescent moon rin could steal the berserk effect of the uh newer hunt as he manic or whatever uh that's so funny sounding holy hell <laughs> she must have been op as hell with that dang uh but um she can't do that anymore so rip also abyss floor 86 apparently is uh, going to be harder because there was something you could do to make it not trigger in certain situations. Uh, so probably some kind of exploit there, which you can't do anymore. I am at 86. I haven't tried it yet, I think, or I'm at 85. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really been paying attention to Abyss too much because I got those five Mulgore goes or whatever, and I was like, eh, I'm done till they nerf the whole thing. A few small adventure bug fixes here. Not going to read them individually because they're not that big of a deal, but pause and read if you want. A fix in the labyrinth shop where people would try to buy things when they had enough and it said they didn't. So the items that were shown that you could purchase for Token of the Chosen are going to be removed from the side story because, again, they can actually only be used to enter the tournament. A few other small little things here. Again, not super important sounding some more pretty small things here oh this is pretty nice it says improvements have been made so that a player's current amount of mulagora and mulagora go is displayed in the top screen of the skill enhance menu so sometimes you'd have to click and hold to see how many mulagoras you have and you wouldn't really be sure how many mulagora goes you have unless you have another skill right there or go to a different hero so that's pretty convenient and some other little ui changes here but uh again doesn't sound very important so but that's pretty much it for the main patch we can, um, we're probably a little bit too early to like, cause sometimes they have, they have some bonus stuff here, like maybe other little events going on, but usually it's most of the stuff in the main patch just kind of separated anyway. Um, and besides that, it's usually not really a big deal. So I guess that's actually it for the video and the patch note, mainly looking forward to that artifact. It sounds really powerful and, uh, yeah, really good if you max it. Also, the tournament sounds really interesting. I don't think we can see the actual rewards we can get from it right now, except for that one four-star artifact enhanced charm thing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the main things. So yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.